You're here. I'm here. Good. Good. This is we haven't done this in a minute. It, it is, is right. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi, everybody. I'm Steve, and I'm Mark, and this is Smokey, Steve, and Mark. Why? Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Yes. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It, it is, is not wait Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> right now, we're 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 still easing into it. Yeah. Yeah. Which, rightfully so, everyone has been saying, and well, the doctors did too, yeah. just because you were released from the hospital doesn't mean you're still not, like, recouping and, and healing and getting better. Yeah. So, I'm um, very glad that uh, you didn't have to go straight back to work, and I'm mm -hmm. glad that you're uh, still taking care of yourself, you know, because yeah. it's not like that was completely just, oh, I'm home, so it's all done. Yeah, it, was, know? it was, you know, it was... An oil change of sorts, but yeah. that doesn't mean, like, after the fact that I'm all, like, ready, ready to go. Right. Exactly. No, so, no, 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 not um, at all. Just like I think somebody had mentioned, like, if you get surgery mm -hmm. and you come home, you, you you still have to recoup. Yeah. It's the same thing for, for mental health things. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the same. And I don't think a lot of people think that way. I mean, I never did in the past. Like, I never really looked at mental health as a... Like a, you know, I don't know, like a physical ailment or... I, I didn't look at it the same way I would look at, like, other things, you yeah. know. I do now. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I'm glad you did that video yesterday. Yeah. I'm glad that you, you know, I think that it's really, really important with, like, you know, if we're ever going to kind of end the stigma and get more understanding about mental health issues, it's because... I mean this, like, because people like you who are brave enough to tell their story, you know, even, you know, uh, whenever you have a crisis and you end up in the hospital or even the things that you're doing to try to make yourself well and things like that, the more we talk about it, the people talk about it, mm -hmm. I think the more, you know, like, um, well, the more attraction is put on it and the more people will understand and mm -hmm. hopefully we can get rid of that that stigma that still exists today about yeah. mental health. So I was glad you did that video yesterday. I watched it. I usually don't watch all of our videos. But yeah, you don't. I, I did watch it and I'm, I'm glad. And I, I was reading the comments too. I'm oh, like, the comments were so I nice. Know. I did have a chance to go through all the comments on the videos. Thank you so much. Yeah. They were so kind. They were so supportive for Mark while I was gone. They were. By the way, thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Of J course, you don't have to thank me. No. But I'm glad you did. Yeah, it was nice. Um... <laughs> So I was able to go through those, and um, yeah, yesterday's video was was different because I was kind of like, "There's no big bow at the end. Right. There's no like, and everything's better now." Right. It's still the process. It's still right. we're moving along, which ties in with the fact that it's not going to be way Wednesday, Wednesday, and that it's a cooking video. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, it all segues neatly. No way in Wednesday because there's no way in hell I'm getting on a scale today. Mm -hmm. No way in hell. And we're calling this on the side of self care. We're also doing it because... No, I agree with that, actually. I also wasn't able to do intermittent fasting this week at all. I was well, in a facility where they yeah. bring your meals, yeah. and I can't... There's no OMAD. I can't shove all my meals in my room <laughs> right. at night, yeah. or else they would have asked me to stay longer. Yeah. So... And not to mention, there's other things to um, put your attention on. You yeah, know, I was... Say, you know... My I, attention was divided during the day. I wasn't thinking about meal prep. Right. You know, I was thinking right. about staying awake in group. Mm -hmm. You know, and now that I'm home, kind of busying myself with things that were more routine to try to get back into the swing yeah. of things. Like doing dishes, maybe yeah. coffee and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I, I even shared with them when you were in the hospital, I'm like, you know, I'm going to try to keep this ball rolling and I'm going to, I'm trying to keep as much as the, our normal routine down. Mm -hmm. Not just like with the channel trying to put a, a video up every day, but at home too. Yeah. Like I still sat down with my popcorn and watched a movie. I still turned the bed down as if you were there. Bandit get fed at the like I was trying to keep the routine going, yeah. you know, which was important for my mental health during that time too. So mm -hmm. that's a really, really good point to mention, you know. Yeah. And I'm anxious we're working on doing a um like a I don't know, informational video. I don't know what you would yeah. call it, but like to give some resources out to set up like a crisis plan and some information about mental health things like that we're putting that all together now so i'm yeah i'm liking that too mm -hmm. and i'm anxious that we're, we'll be back on track soon with all of our normal videos and segments yeah. i'm excited yeah we're coming back into back into focus yes we are focus. and like right 
before, yeah, right before you went in the hospital, we did a video asking you guys a question about, um, you know, our next SSAM special episode. Mm -hmm. And we got, oh man, you delivered. We have so many ideas and everything and mm -hmm. we chose one. So we're working on our next special. <laughs> and we got so many ideas for like other videos. the ones after that too. Yeah. I know that's really, really great. So yeah. we got that in the works and we're looking forward to that too. But tonight we have, we have a fun video. I promised you and you, you know, but it was part of your Valentine's Day yeah. present that I was going to make dinner and we were going to do um, base gallop linguine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go into the kitchen and do that now and share that recipe with everybody. Shall we? I think right now. Well, I, well, I didn't know if you were done talking. I kind of just jumped in and like took I, over. Yeah, well, see, I leave. I leave for a few days, and it's Smokey Mark and some other guy. Uh, well, see, I well, see how it is. I mean, yeah. everyone's replaceable, I guess. Someone else must believe that too. <laughs> everyone's replace. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait till you get back on that one. Well, that. We'll see. Tomorrow, not really, because I don't really care. Tomorrow's Thursday. We'll see. That's I might usually... Be in the, I might be in the mood to read rather than comment. But, <laughs> right? But we'll see. Well, I think they would accept that. Hey, you could still, you know, you could still use, um, let's see, an explanation of, you know, I'm still recouping, so I'm not holding back. So I'm going to run my mouth and blame <laughs> it on being crazy? It's been well, done. Well, I mean, it's you been could. done. It's been done. Yeah, you it's watched been done. Foodie Beauty? <laughs> it's, it's been done. Very true. You're right. You're right. No. Well, at any rate, you're going to make dinner tonight. I am going to make dinner. It is still cheat night, so it's going to be probably more indulgent than, like, our normal pizza and fries. It's going to be base gallops with linguine. Oh, Something yeah, a little more special it's for good. cheat night. I have the nutrition information too for it. So. All right, so you're gonna cook? All right, let's well, so get your pens and paper out. We the we're gonna make something really yummy. Okay, yeah, let me go. All right, I'm ready. Okay, we're in the kitchen and I have the recipe all written down. Today we're gonna make bay scallop linguine. Ooh, yum, yum. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over all the ingredients first and then we'll whip it up. Let me see if I'm heated here. Yes, I am. All right, turn that down a tad. Okay, so for this dish, it's a pasta dish, obviously. For this dish, you will need linguine pasta, and you're gonna need about 10 ounces of that. Um, you're gonna need about two tablespoons of butter, and uh, cut in half, because we're gonna use one tablespoon, then we're gonna use another tablespoon. Uh, one little drizzle of olive oil, and then you're gonna need some bay scallops, about 10 ounces. I have them there, and uh, those I have just rinsed off uh, in the sink, and then I patted them dry. You're also going to need garlic, two cloves of fresh garlic, finely minced, if you will. Uh, if you're going to use it from the jar, like if you have jarred minced garlic, about a tablespoon, a little bit more according to your taste will be fine. Uh, one Roma tomato, which we dice. And you want to use Roma because they hold up really, really well in pasta dishes, okay? Uh, cream cheese. We're going to need two ounces of cream cheese. And I love these. I get these because they're pre-portioned, one-ounce containers. But um, if you have, you know, the brick or whatever, you need two ounces of that. Now, we're going to need... Um, you're going to need chicken stock. So, either one ounce of chicken stock concentrate with a quarter cup of water or just about a quarter cup of any kind of stock, like chicken or vegetable or seafood. I wouldn't use beef stock though, okay? That's just my personal opinion on that one. We're gonna need also, where are we at here? Okay, grated Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup. We're going to need a lemon, and this lemon, I halved it, and then I zested one half and kept it. And the zest is in there, and then I quartered the other half, okay? So zest from a half of a lemon, juice from a half of a lemon, and then two wedges of lemon, all right? Also gonna need salt and pepper, of course, okay? 
So let us get started. Whew. So the first thing we're going to want to do is cook our pasta to al dente, which I have already done. Uh, linguine pasta you want to cook for about mm, 9 to 11 minutes in salted boiling water. Then I drained it and then I cooled it off with some cool water and gave it a couple spritz of olive oil just so it doesn't stick together. And then I set that aside, okay? So first, we are going to cook our scallops. Um, I gotta grab the butter. I, excuse me, I didn't have it ready. I didn't want it to get soft. So, pardon me. All right, so, we, in a saute pan, you're gonna about, put about one tablespoon of butter. Unsalted, preferably, but again. I'm gonna try to cook on the back burner this time. I mm -hmm. think you might be able to see it a little bit better. I'm not sure. Now, to that, we're going to add a drizzle of olive oil, okay? Yeah, we're going to use olive oil. <laughs> it's a little more than a drizzle, but anyway. Well, it's cheat day. Yes, it is cheat day, right? <laughs> Here, now, let me do that. I thought that had a pourer on it. That's better. Okay. It's my olive oil, that's why. I just got, yeah, it doesn't have the little, yeah. like at work, I just go, ch -ch, like, you know. <laughs> Sound effects are very important. Okay, so... Now, uh, once your butter is melted, we're gonna, you want the pan to get hot, so make sure that your butter and your olive oil are thoroughly melted, and we are gonna take our scallops and cook them. Now, with your scallops, I'm gonna tell you the different kinds of scallops, but you wanna make sure that they're washed with cold water, and you wanna pat them dry. I, I already did this once, but it's as easy as taking a paper towel and pat them dry. You don't want any excess water on there, okay? And we are sizzling, so we're ready to go. All right, so, scallops. Hear that sizzle. <clears throat> Give them a quick stir there. And we're gonna wanna saute these um, until they're cooked through. Um, I'm gonna say about two minutes or so on in a hot pan, you know. So that'll be about two minutes. Now I have written down here some, I wanted to tell you the differences in scallops. Some people, I think that a lot of time home cooks get a little bit intimidated by seafood of any kind, really. And you really shouldn't be. Seafood is one of the easiest items to cook, in my opinion. All seafood, really. That's just my opinion, though. But there are basically two types of scallops. There's bay scallops, which we're using today, and there are sea scallops. And the difference between the two, bay scallops are smaller like this. Um, they tend to be uh, more succulent, small, more sweet, more tender, you know. And um, they are found, and, and like sea scallops, on the other hand, are much bigger, and they're a little more chewy. They're still delicious, but they're a little more chewy. Um, sea scallops are found like in deep, cold ocean water, you know. Um, bay scallops are more like, um, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna tell you correctly here. They are usually found, that's what I thought, okay, they usually found in East Coast bays. So, I guess that's, that's pretty much the difference. Now, scallops usually, some of them can attach to like the ocean floor or to coral or something, but most scallops like run around, like around, around. So, they're bi, bivalve mollusks. Did I say that correctly? Bivalve mollusks. Yes. Like, here, I'll explain. They belong in the family, like, with clams and oysters and mussels, and they have two shells that go like this. And they walk around the ocean floor, and, and, and they open and close to trap food and to travel, and there's a little mussel that joins the two shells together. That is what the scallop is. That's what is harvested to make a scallop. Oh. Now, there's also something called diver scallops. People were wondering what diver scallops are. Diver scallops are scallops that are harvested by professional fishermen who are licensed scuba divers to do that. Um, and that's really the only difference there between that. So, um, and like, people are like, like I said, people get intimidated by buying seafood and cooking seafood. Like, how do I buy scallops? I mean, basically there's two types, two things you want to look for when you buy scallops, wet and dry. Like, wet scallops are more processed. They're treated with, um, I think it's frostrate, I think it's called, frostrate, frostrate. I should have looked that up. Anyway, it's treated with something, um, and, and what that does is it makes it collect more water, 
and preserves it and actually makes it heavier and cost more and it's uh, the quality is less than dry scallops which are like natural and haven't been treated with any chemicals if that makes sense and you really can either ask the fish guy or you could kind of look at it like scallops that are wet are like white snow white and usually have a milky substance in the packaging and like your natural or your dry scallops are more of like a like a vanilla color like these these are natural well can't really use that as an example because they're they're cooked in butter right now but <laughs> they're more like a natural look and like a vanilla y kind of a look to it all right anyway i'm talking too long so our scallops are perfectly cooked yes i think that's fantastic so what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this from the heat and i'll be back in one second because i just want to remove those from the heat and set them aside and we're going to let them dry and we're going to reduce our heat just a little bit maybe to like medium to medium high and next we're going to add our other tablespoon of butter no olive oil this time just butter for a total of two tablespoons let that melt a little bit and to that we are going to add our garlic yum 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 add that to there okay put that in there where is it at our tomatoes here that sizzle let me move this out of the way so I can it in here because I can make a mess. Okay, and now you're going to let this cook until the butter is completely melted and your garlic is nice and fragrant and your tomatoes are kind of like heated all the way through. I'm going to say we're going to leave that on for about two minutes, okay? So I'm not going to bore you by waiting for two minutes for this to cook. So why don't we hit pause mm -hmm. and we'll come back in two minutes. Sounds good. Hey, we're back. It's been two minutes and everything is smelling and looking fantastic. As you can see, the next step, we're going to add our cream cheese. That'll be two ounces. There's one. And two. Oh, there we go there. Whoops! Boy, can I make a mess. Okay, so we added our cream cheese. Let's get a little stir there. Let that help that melt a little bit. Okay. After that, we're going to add our chicken stock. Now, as I said, we're using um, a um, concentrate. So, the concentrate you put right in like that. And you could use, you know, they sell concentrate or you could just use stock as well. But to this amount, we're going to add a quarter cup of water to it as well. Just like that, which actually creates the stock, right? <laughs> so it's just, um, a lot of people have stock concentrate on hand because it takes, frankly, it lasts longer and it takes less space than actual stock does. But um, we have homemade chicken stock in the freezer all the time that we cook with. But I kind of wanted to show you that little trick. Okay, there we go. All right, so we stir that up. And after that's heated through and combined very well, we're gonna add salt and pepper, just like a little pinch of each, like that. And like that, give it a stir until it's heated all the way through and starts to get a little creamy, which it is. Oh, yeah, I know I say this in every time we cook, but if you could smell it, it's good. It smells so delicious. It does, though. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me put this aside here. Okay. So, once all of that melts down, which it is. Okay. So, the next step, we are going to add our pasta, our scallops, and a couple other items. So, why don't I do that? My scallops ready. And get the pasta ready. And our pharmacy on cheese. Okay. All right, so everything's ready. So first, we're going to add half of our Parmesan cheese, which is approximately an eighth of a cup because we have a quarter cup. Give that a stir like that. 
And as you can see, it like instantly it melts in there and it creates a cream sauce along with the cream cheese. All right, perfect. To that, I'm gonna turn it up just a little there. To that, we're going to add our scallops, which have been cooked. Wonderful. And we're going to add, this is where the other half of our lemon that we zested came in. We're going to add the juice from half of a lemon in there. Hold your hands like that to catch the seeds. Oh. 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 Gotta get the sound effect. <clears throat> or it doesn't count. Or it doesn't count. It just won't taste as good. Mm -hmm. All right, and the zest. Okay, give that a stir. Oh my gosh! Can you smell it? Yeah. Okay, delish, delish, delish. Okay, to that, we are going to add half of our chopped chives. like that. Did I mention chives at the beginning? I, I hope I did. Well, you did now. Grated parm, lemon. If I didn't mention it, because I think it's very at the bottom here, I don't know. You want about a quarter ounce of chopped fresh chives. There. Okay. Quarter ounce, Debbie. Um, about an, a full tablespoon would be a quarter ounce. Okay. If you're going to use dried, use a little less. Maybe more like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, I, I would say for that. And last but not least, we're going to add our pasta. And I did, you notice I did leave the heat on because we want to make sure that the pasta gets heat, heated up again as well. If you're using, like if you do this all in one shot and your pasta is warm, turn your heat off first. And as soon as it starts sticking a tiny bit to the bottom, like that. When the pasta starts sticking just a tiny bit to the bottom, turn your heat off. Okay, now you just wanna stir to evenly coat everything, which we did. One more pinch salt, one more pinch pepper. Okay, stir that up. Okay, and now we plate it. Oh, I wish I would have grabbed a, mm, I'm gonna make a mess. Wish I would have grabbed my little fork, my pasta fork. Mm. Okay, well there's no better way to do it than with your hands. Make this all pretty. Like, excuse my hands. They are clean, though. I do have a pasta thingy. I just, I should have grabbed it, but I didn't. Okay, then for the, 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 the final thing, the remainder of your chives, sprinkle on top. Sprinkle on top. That's the bigger one. That's mine. Mm -hmm. And the remaining Parmesan cheese. And for the cherry on the top of the cake of this dish, a wedge of lemon. And there you have it. Base scallop linguine. Mm. Looks good, huh? I'd say so. Okay. okay. I'm going to go eat it. Okay. Mm. Mm. It does smell really good. It Honestly, does. guys, like if, um, I think that uh, this is such a great, easy, and a good place to start if you want to like make uh, a seafood recipe at home um, because we put it all together mm. in less than 20 minutes mm. um, and if you like serve this to people people will be impressed they mm. will it does take it tastes like a restaurant quality mm. dish mm -hmm. you want know scallop yes i do mm. Mm. no mm. the lemon for me makes it mm -hmm. that makes it you need good. that lemon mm. 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 that's good oh yeah you but want, yeah, you they, want more? I do. <laughs> no, no. There's no, more for later. I don't. There's more for later. Yeah, there is. Yeah. But the recipe is very easy to scale if you want to, uh, you know, to double or triple um, the recipe that I shared with you. Um, it takes about 
20 minutes to make start to finish, about five minutes of prep, and it serves two people. Um, you can double that if you have four, triple it if you have six, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm anxious. I'm happy to get back to like what I call the fun videos, like mm -hmm. the cooking and the crafting and the the whimsical fun stuff, yeah. you know. So and I think the more that I do it, like I'm committed to doing more, mm -hmm. I'll get better at it, you know, because I have found that when I put the clipboard down and just talk to you, I feel much more comfortable. Yeah. I always get nervous. Like, not cooking. I can cook with my eyes closed. It's videoing or, yeah. or whatever, you know, trying to tell you how to do it that I get nervous with. So, mm -hmm. um, but I, I think I'll get better and make it more interesting and and fun. Yeah. Now, so. for us, mm. I don't want to talk with my mouth open like some people. Like some people mm. do. <laughs> we got every plate, the mm -hmm. meal delivery system. We had gotten that this week. And we had the ingredients from that to put it together. So yeah. you were able to kind of follow their recipe. Um, so we'll throw the link into the description for every plate. If you want to check it out, um, you get a discount off your first box from them. You can check it out. I'll put the link below and you can see what kind of uh, meals they have, products they have, stuff like that. Most of their recipes are pretty user friendly. Yeah. They're pretty I, easy. I always ask Mark because he's like the chef. I'm like, is this really for the home cook? You know, like, cause <laughs> it is. It, to me, it looks complicated. If I have to use more than just the stove, <laughs> right. Like if I have to turn the oven on too, I'm always like, can I put it in the air fryer? Yeah. Can I fit a whole turkey in there? Well, like, that's what I. That's why I like to start with these every plate recipes because they are simple. Yeah. And the results are are very good. Like the result, like this dish, you think it would have taken a lot longer to make, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't. <laughs> you saw we did it basically the whole thing in real time, almost all of it. We stopped maybe twice but and you can translate from every plate to real because you can oh, yeah. look, you can look at their portions and say it's this much oh yeah i had to it's write down much. what everything was because they don't say how much it is they don't give you the recipe they give you the ingredients the ingredient list they don't so, tell you like one cup of this one cup you know but anyway they want you to buy theirs again yeah probably yeah. it's a racket it's but a there's racket. a great discount code in the description too i'm never going to endorse a product ever again in my life it sounds like i hate them all you don't hate every plate. What did I say was going to make me throw up the other day? I forget. There was some product we said in the video, and I said it was going to come right back up if I ate it first thing in the morning. Oh, we were watching a TV show, and they were going out fishing for breakfast. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I can't, I can't do that. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not going to get endorsed from there. Well, yeah. I don't rate. know what that has to do with every plate or endorsing. We're not endorsing at all. No, no. I mean, yeah, we went off. I think you should try it. But this isn't an every plate video. No, it's not. I'm just... I use some of the ingredients from every plate to make this dish. Pretty much, yeah. So, the high note is we have a good dinner. Yes, we do. We have a good dinner tonight. We do. And we're both home to enjoy it. Yeah. Oh. And this weekend, I'll be doing, everybody's been asking about the bread baking. Now that we're back to normal, when are you doing? Because I did start the bread baking la la yeah. last, last week. Yes, we are. This mm -hmm. weekend, we'll be baking bread again. I'm excited. I killed that last loaf of bread. It was good. Yeah, there's just nothing like homemade bread. It was so good. I, I had like sandwiches four days in a row until yeah. it was gone. It was so good. Yeah. So. Well, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address and contact info is all listed below. Thank you all for watching, and I will check you out tomorrow. Yes, you will. We'll see what I talk about, but I will check you out tomorrow. Okay. All right. That sounds good. It was fantastic spending time with you as always, and uh, have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you later. Remember, everybody, stay positive and ciao.